Hi everyone, welcome to Computer Vision Image Augmentation. Image Augmentation technology expands the scale of a training data set by making a series of random changes to the training image to produce similar but different training examples. Another way to explain the image augmentation is that randomly changing training example can reduce the model's dependence on certain properties, thereby improving its capability for generalization. For example, we can crop the image in different ways so that the object of interest appears in different positions, reducing the model's dependence on the position where object appears. We can also adjust the brightness colors and other factors to reduce models sensitivity to colors it can be a say that image augmentation augmentation technology contributed greatly to the success of LSNet. in this session we will discuss uh, this technology which is widely used in computer vision common image occur Augmentation methods. In this experiment, you will use an image with a shift of 400 by 500 as an example. Most image augmentation methods have certain degree of randomness, make it easier for us to observe the effects of image augmentation in next defined auxiliary function apply this function run the augmentation methods or multiple times on the input image img and show all result flipping the image left and right usually does not change the category of the object it is one of the earliest and the most widely used method of image augmentation next we use the random view we use transform modules to create the random flip left right instance which introduces a 50 percent chance that the image is flipped left and right flipping up and down is not as commonly used as flipping left and right however at least for this example image flipping up and down does not hinder recognition Next, we will create random flip top button instance for a 50% chance of flipping the image up and down. In this example, image we use text is in the middle of the image. But this may not be the case for all images. We expect that the pulling layer can reduce the sensitivity of the combo layer to the target location. In addition, we can make object appear at different positions in the image in different properties by randomly cropping the image. This can also reduce the sensitivity of the models to the target position. In the, posi in the following code, we randomly crop a region with an area of 10% to 100% of the original area and the ratio of width and height of the region is randomly selected from between 0 0.5 and 2. Then the width and height of the region are both scaled to 200 pieces. Unless otherwise status the random numbers between A and B. In this session, refer to the continuous value obtained by uniform sampling in the interval A and B. Another augmentation method is changing colors. We can change four aspects of the image color, brightness, contrast, saturation, and hues. In the example below, we randomly change the brightness of the image to the value between 50% and 150% of the original, original image. Similarly, 
it can randomly change the hue of the image. It can also create a random color cheater instance and set how to randomly change the brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue of the image at the same time. In practice, you will overlay multiple image augmentation. You can overlay the different image augmentation method defined above and apply them to the e each image by using a compost instance. Next, we will look at the how to apply image augmentation in actual training. Here, we will use CIFAI-10. Instead of our fashion means data set we have been using. This is because position of the size of the object in the fashion means data set have been normalized. And difference in the colors and the size of the object, CIFAR 10, data set are more significant. The first 32 training images in the CIFAR 10 data sets are shown below. In order to obtain a definitive results during prediction, we usually only apply image augmentation to the training example and do not use image augmentation with random operation during prediction. Here, we only use the simplest random left-right flipping method. In addition, we use the tensor instance to convert mini batch image into the format required by MSNet. The two bits floating pointing point numbers with the shape of a precise number of a channel, height, width, and value range between 0 and 1. Next, we define the auxiliary function to make it easier to read the image and apply image augmentation to transform first function provided by growing data sets apply image augmentation to the first element of each training example, image and label. The element at the top of the image or detailed description data router refer to section 3.5. Using a multiple GPU training, we train the ResNet 18 model described on the CIFLR 10 dataset. We also apply the method described in and use a multiple GPU training model. Next, we will define a training function to train and evaluate the models using multiple GPU. Now we can define the train with data or function to use image augmentation to train the model. This function obtains all availability GPUs and use atom as the optimization algorithm for training. It can apply image augmentation to the training data set and finally call the train function to define to train and evaluate the model. Now, we train the model using image augmentation of random flipping left and right. Thank you.